Marvin a bit happier tonight? Never happy in defeat, but definitely happy with the performance. A hundred percent, Sandra. I said that to the players after you know the game today. We had five things written on the board. Off the top of my mind, I can't remember them all, but discipline was one. Um, being the best version of yourself was one. Communication um, and a couple of other things. And, and they ticked every box today. They ticked every box today. You know, we created chances. On another day, if we'd have came away scoring four goals today, potentially five, no one would have you know raised an eyebrow at it. So. It is what it is, you know, we're, we're disappointed to be out of the cup because at the end of the day, we, we've still lost the game. But in terms of the performance, you know, I'm, I'm happy with the players today, really happy with them. Certainly a lot of positives to focus on today. Yeah, there is a lot of positives to, to focus on for sure. Um, and like we said, the difficult thing is in football is creating the chances and then going to the next bit and score them. Kieran McKechnie on another day puts that in the back of the net 100%. Josh Todd makes a fantastic third man run and he probably should just let his shot away. Um, we have the one that comes out to Lewis Gibson in the box as well. And, you know, we get this with young players that, you know, maybe just try to hit as hard as you possibly can. When Lewis, you know, strikes a fantastic ball, and he should just, just hit the target with it. And then, you know, Carl Dockett does, you know, brilliantly well. Um, and I think he gets caught, you know, half one to shoot, half one to cross it for Kieran. So, listen, the chance we created were brilliant. Um, I thought that the performance, you know, they, as I said, they're really, really disciplined. Um, I thought they moved the ball well at times and, you know, we allowed our brothers to have possession where we were comfortable with them having possession. But as soon as they came into another area, you know, we managed to turn the ball over. But, um, yeah, listen, the, the ultimate thing is we have lost the game of football, but like you said, a lot of positives. And it was a, a good strike that wins it at the end of the day, <laughs> wasn't it? It was, and, and it just probably sums up at the moment because he'd been substituted, right? So at the side of the pitch, they put his number up for him to be substituted. He walks off the pitch. The other boy steps onto the pitch and then they decide to retract the substitution. So then he comes back onto the pitch and the boy walks back off the pitch. I'm not even sure that's allowed. I'm pretty sure once a player enters the field of play, then the substitution's been made. And then that player puts the cross in, ricochets a little bit, comes back out and then hits a wonderful strike into the corner. And you're like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm just, it's just unbelievable. You know, hopefully we can, you know, accompany, you know, kind of my interview with a video of it. But listen, it's a fantastic strike from him, um, whether you're winning any game. Um, but I think just before that, we could have and probably should have dealt with it. I think the ball bounces and kind of, you know, go in half-heartedly. But, listen, a fantastic strike from the player. You say it as a defeat, but it kind of brings to a halt the run that you've you kind of been on, isn't it? Because, I mean, the performance last week, we went having the mm. the week before. So, it's kind of, it makes that change, doesn't it? It, it? it does make that change, Sandra, in terms of the performance, yes. But, you know, we're still out of the cup, ultimately. Um, but, you know, it's no surprise that the change comes when you begin to get more players up to speed and more players back into the squad. I know we only had, I think, five or six outfield players today. I think it was five. Um, but in terms of players being on the pitch, you know, Carl Doherty, you know, Jack Bryden getting more minutes into his leg, who's missed, a, you know, a large part of the campaign so far. Daniel Church is actually the same. Um, so, you know, it's, there's no surprise when players start to get up to speed and get, you know, as I said, more minutes in their legs, performances start to go the other way. But that's something to build on. We have to build on it. Otherwise, you know, it's, it's kind of a waste of 90 minutes, isn't it, in terms of the performance? I was going to come on to that and see exactly that. You know, you're getting players back and you can see that they're getting stronger week by week. Yeah, exactly. But we have to be, you know, mindful of how much they can do. You know, Kyle Dockett, he was due to play 60 minutes. I think he came off around 65 minutes and, you know, that was what was planned for him today. Um, but yeah, as he said, you know, they're getting stronger week by week, um, most definitely. And, you know, as I said, the performances, today's performance was a lot better than the, probably the last couple of weeks. Um, so, yeah, listen, I'm, I'm really happy with that. I'm happy that the players are now coming back. Um, hopefully we can introduce a few more into training at the start of next week. Um, and I'm hoping, you know, with Oscar and uh, Alex Ferguson being cup tied today, I'll have you know further five players to, to choose for the squad for next week, which makes a massive difference for us. Some people tend to forget that, don't they? That when they're in, even although they're in the squad, they're not fully fit and not able to play that full ninety minutes. <laughs> yeah, and, and that's the hard thing, you know, from my point of view as a manager, because you know Jack Bryden, for example, I'm putting out there earlier than he should have been. Daniel Church, for example, exactly the same thing. You know, those three players should have probably been started to be introduced today. You know, but I mean, Jack's played, I think, two or three 90 minutes. You know, Daniel Church, again, I think started two or three games. So, you know, we are having to speed them up because we're losing other players who actually physically can't get on the pitch. So there has to be that kind of understanding that just give us a little bit of time to get these players up to speed. Um, you know, and, and, and once they're up to speed, I think, you know, you'll, you'll see what we're about as a team and, you know, what they're about individually. Um, so, yeah, as, as I said, just because they're out there on a the pitch, it's kind of needs must rather than them being right and fair play to the players. So they, they haven't shirked away from their responsibilities. And they said, 
you know, wherever I'm at, if you want to put me out on the pitch, I'm going to give you 100%. So, you know, I take that all day long. And one thing that you can take from this today as well is confidence. Because I think, you know, the run that you've been on, it mm -hmm. must have an impact on confidence. So the performance today must be able to boost that again. Yeah, it, it does have an impact on confidence, definitely. But I say to the players, control the controllables in football. And, and that is about going out there and, and performing and, and executing a game plan and all these other things. Because you're not always going to win when you play. We saw that today. You know, you played more than well enough to win that game. Um, and, and we haven't. But... I said, you know, yes, we have still lost, but you can go away from that knowing that, do you know what, we performed. We, we, we controlled everything we could possibly control out there today other than maybe putting the ball in the back of the net a couple of more times. But at least we're creating those chances. You know, it's not one of those games where we've had one chance and we've scored it. We've, you know, we've probably scored a harder chance and missed three easier chances than that to, you know, put the ball in the back of the net again. So, yeah, we'll take confidence from that 100%. We'll be back in Monday and you know, ready to work hard again, um, continue to get players up to speed and, and then getting ready for next Saturday's game. But, you know... I can definitely feel the, the, the turn coming. Um, it's been a hard couple of weeks, most definitely. It's been a lack of sleep uh, for me personally. Um, but, you know, as I said, you know, I'm starting to get my players back now and, and the group's starting to look a lot stronger. So hopefully we can keep them fit and healthy um, and keep working on the fitness of players who need it and then, you know, just topping them up. And then once everyone's back, you know, we're, we're going to be in for, for a good time. Starting at Annan. Mm -hmm. the next week so yep. a big a big derby game again it is it is obviously you know we played Adam, uh here you know, towards the start of the season and, and won that game so they're going to be looking for revenge and we're going to be looking to improve our performance today and improve our performance that we played against them last time um, as I said you know the work for that for me starts after I do the newspapers in a minute um, you know, and we'll be ready to go. We'll be ready to go. And as I said, I have you know five other players to introduce into the squad as well. And then a case, it's a, it's a start of the next quarter. So you obviously want to be looking to take more points from that quarter. Do you set targets? Yeah, the next game. That's the only target I set. As I said, you start looking beyond that. I've never done that since coming in, into management. You start looking beyond that, Sandra. It's a waste of time because you can only control the next game. And what's the point in looking in four games' time and thinking, oh, could we get this amount of points? Well, if you don't deal with the next game that's coming, the rest of it means absolutely nothing. So, no, I, I genuinely don't set targets, and that's me telling the truth. I just deal with the next game. And, and as I said, we'll be ready to go for that game, as will Annan. But, you know, as I said, we'll be, we'll be there and, you know, we'll come up with a game plan and, and we'll execute it.